So, welcome back to the next part of Nar What If Naruto Was Adopted by Tsunade, or What If Tsunade Adopted Naruto, Part 9. So, last time on a Naruto What If, What If Tsunade Adopted Naruto, Part 9, the Tunisians were in full bloom. However, the sand and the sand and sound, <laughs> sorry, that's, when you say them back to back, it does kind of, sand and sound, sand and sound, like, say that ten times fast. The sand and sound had invaded. And, yeah. So, this is where we're going to see a lot of deviations start to happen. Because, hey, Orochimaru still takes Sarutobi hostage. You know, she just, ah, uh, uh, Sarutobi Sensei, I got you now. And then, you know, he runs and stabs himself in the hand. Oh, we, we, are you reminiscing about your old home? Uh, it's like, no, I was just getting quite sleepy. Now, Sar, now, Sensei, shall we begin? And then all of a sudden he has all of a sense of, begin. Mm -hmm. Whoa, phew. And all of a sudden, Tsunade's like, oh, Tsunade, I didn't think he would be able to make it in time. And he kind of, he's putting up a good front, but at the same time, it's just, uh, that I was hoping I'd only have to deal with the old man. But I think I can play with you as well. So why don't we set, uh, set the scene a bit more intimately? And then Sound 4, create the, uh, the barrier. So now it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. Uh, you ready, Sensei? And then, <laughs> But he's got his battle armor on. Tsunade takes off her cloak, just cracks her neck, cracks her knuckles. Let's like, let's do this. Uh, meanwhile, back on the ground, you know, Gara and his siblings flee. Now, this is a little bit of a difference here because the core of Sasuke's character remains generally the same. He is a good person deep down, obviously, and he's a good person in this, uh, clearly, from what we've gone so far. Uh, still wants to be Itachi, all that, but he's not that arrogant or. Um, or at least as arrogant, or uh, needing to, you know, that whole self-worth proving himself uh, shtick, that he needs to f chase after him. Instead, he kind of goes and, you know, he's he wants to chase after him, uh, but at the same time, he sees that Hinata and Naruto, who both would have dispelled the Genjutsu, Naruto, thanks to Hinata, uh, Tsunade, you know, training all that, probably would know how to do that. And Hinata, just because she's got really good chakra control and could probably identify it. Uh, they both bring out, and they're both, you know, fighting Shinobi, Shinobi and Sasuke instead uses the, um, uh, pale lightning to pierce one of them to the shoulder. Ah! Naruto's, like, slices one up. Does a kill, just, you know, injures. And then Kakashi, ah, oh, it's like, I see. And it's like, go, and basically they say, talk about how, uh, you know, Kakashi gives them the mission that, you know, you gotta go stop Gara. You know, Naruto, you, you know what, you know what he cares. You know what's possibly going to happen. <clears throat> And Naruto's like, hmm, you're right, Sensei. And take Shikamaru here with you, too. He's like, what's Shikamaru's passed out? And then he goes, wait a minute. <clears throat> Shikamaru, you're thinking, I didn't want to get involved. Paco here will lead you. So they go off. Now, basically, that is, what happens is still the same thing up until Tamari. Is that the sound ninjas are chasing him. Shikamaru, um, my glasses just have smudges on today. Shikamaru stalls. Ozma comes and saves him. Uh, Conqueror tries to stall, but Shino gets in, Shino, yeah, Shino, Shino gets in the way, but then you get to the whole Tamari thing. Now, Tamari's like, you know, you're not going anywhere. It's like, oh, well, now we gotta get, the, we gotta get past her. It's like, so, uh, uh, damn, uh, damn it, we don't have time for this. It's like, wind style, what, I, what was the name, you know what, I'm getting that name up right now. I couldn't remember it in the first, because I've actually had to redo this video today, um, but I couldn't remember it the first time. Uh, so what was the name of that technique? Uh, wind style. What's it now? It's not sickle weasel. That's her summoning jutsu. Uh, wind style. Air current dance is anime only. Cast net? No. Giant cast net? No. Wind cutter technique? Is that it? Uh... You use a chakra as a ninja. No, I don't think that's it here. Which one is it? Damn it. Ah, this is so irritating. Um, oh, you know, why not just go into the actual history? Because technically, here's the thing. In the anime, we actually never uh, saw the technique with our fight with Tamari. We never saw the fight with Tamari. Uh, but we did uh, get it in the preliminary matches. Or in the anime, I should say. And they don't say in the actual history what that was. Uh, let's see here. When Was it cast it? Could it be cast net? Uh, using giant fan launches sharp wind currents in form of net slice the attack. I don't know. Anyway, she uses that technique, and they're both right, but Naruto just, oh, photon, wind style! Right 
break through. Boom. And he's able to kind of offset it to some degree, and then kind of just rushing uh, gusts. You guys go for. You guys go on ahead. You guys go on ahead. I'll keep. Uh, I got this. I'll beat up with you in a little bit. It's like, no, Tom, are you sure? It's like, don't worry, Nana. Uh, don't worry, Nana. I'm not going anywhere. Besides, besides, uh, I think we still have uh, some things we need to talk about. <laughs> it's like, and she kind of blushes, realizing because she kissed, remember, she kissed him on the cheek the night before the matches. It's like, yeah. Um, it's like, right. And it's like, uh, oh, so you think you're going somewhere? You're not going. Shower closet. It's like, where are you looking at? Get up, And she just blocks it. Ah, uh, sorry, I, ha I have to deal with the cutie with the wind jutsu. Darn it, why do all the good ones have to die? <laughs> so, you know, they, they're duking it out. Nar so, Naruto's using clones distracting him. In a close range fight, he's going to have the edge, but she can keep him at distance. So, you know, she's firing off gusts and gusts and gusts. He's using some, you know, tactics of her own. Um, Naruto tries out it quickly. You know, she's, she sounds the gust of wind that has the blades in it. I don't know if that's actually called wind cutter. But, you know, Naruto immediately goes into wind blade, uh, 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 scalpels, chakra scalp, wind blade, chakra scalpels, you know, he, he's taking the gust part, so he's taking the concussive force, but he's blocking the blades and stuff. Then he just, on instinct, thinks of something, and just goes, <laughs> and just basically combines the two, funnels more chakras, so it's basically, they're wrapped together, and then he just, uh, has a great breakthrough, and just, wind style, wind, wind, scar cross. Boom, just makes it up on the fly. Just, Tamari cannot evade this, so she has to counter a big explosion of wind, uh, and, and and you know she gets hit. And she, uh, Naruto's just standing there waiting. Just is she down? And then she sees there's like she's down. And all of a sudden, boom, log. It's like got you. Boom. Naruto gets kunai in the back, ah! and then you're mine. Oh, that kind of she said in the anime. Oh, mine. She hits him with the van. Boom. And then you know he's just. Done on the ground. <laughs> Shadow, it's got you. What? Shadow Clutch. All of a sudden, she hears a whirling, and she sees tornado fast. <laughs> Boom! And just blah, she tries to block it with another uh, swing from her fan as best she can. However, because of the nature of a tornado, all this is sucking the wind and making tornado even bigger. And she just gets hit dead. Just, blah, blah, it just is cratered in the ground. Not dead, but cratered. Now, why isn't it just? Quick note, why is it not the Tornado Fist Explosion? Tornado Fist Explosion! Love it when... Always love to hear Jin say that. Because uh, it's a great technique when you... I always bring it back up anytime I mention it, but it's a great technique when you think Jin forms the Tornado Fist on his arm, he fires it, it's just so freaking cool. Why was that never turned into like a, like a Jutsu or something? I don't know, but it's awesome. But I actually think there's a difference between Tornado Fist and Tornado Fist Explosion. Tornado Fist is simply throwing the punch with the tornado at you and basically firing a mini tornado. Tornado Fist Explosion will be fo um, focusing a bit more chakra into so you get that glow effect like you see from Jin occasionally. And then being basically point-blank range and then BOOM! Hitting not just with the tornado, but with like a burst of chakra, hence Tornado Fist Explosion. So that I think is be the difference between the two. But anyway, Nart's like, ah. alright, now so I can catch it, all of a sudden he, he can actually feel... Like, the chakra coming from the same... Not, he not... Sa Sasuke! Like, Hang on, I'm coming! Cut back to the Hokages. The, the, or the... The Kage Orochimaru Sonate fight. Yeah, it starts out pretty basic. They go back and forth for a little bit. But, but then uh, Orochimaru's like, Shall we raise the stakes a little bit? Summoning Jutsu! And then and the summon is... Coffin, fast coffin, and Sonate and Saratobi immediately know what this is. The second coffin, we gotta stop this third one at all costs! You know, Saratobi does the shurikens, stops it. Sonata, though, even goes even further and just smashes it to bits. Fortunately, she can't stop the other two, and she backpedals real quick. Now, real a quick note. I find it interesting that, you know, Saratobi theoretically stopped it with just shurikens and apparently, you know, clenching him. I don't know what it was supposed to do exactly. But we get that later revealed that's not the reason it stopped. He couldn't collect Minato's soul to use because it was inside the uh, belly of the Shinigami. So he couldn't do it anyway. Anyway, I digress. So then, you know, the, the first and the second step up, and then, you know, Sunai's just shocked. And, oh, grand, grandfather. Oh, Saratobi, you look so old. Tsunade, how, you're, you're looking lovely, dear. How are you? I've, I've been well, grandfather. Uh, whenever you, whenever you exist, there will always be one. I know, isn't it great? Now, 
Someone brought up a point in the last video comment section. Did I? Did, is the Tsunade? I mean, they assume they did, but I never actually established whether or not Tsunade got over her fear of blood. I here's the thing. I think she would have because Naruto, despite you know having actually someone to raise him, would still have been a, a bit of a roughhousing child. He would have like you know played, would have scraped himself. Everything along those lines. Training would have been rough. He probably would have been bleeding at points. I think her maternal instincts as a mother to set an example for her son, everything along those lines, would have eventually helped lead her to excuse me, um, overcome the fear of blood. So I'm just getting that out of the way right now. But then basically Hokage level combat starts. Whoa. And then, you know, water style. How do they, what were those symbols he used of those hands? Because they were not legitimate hands. They were like augmented hand signs. I think one of them was like him going like that or something like or something along those lines. Uh, water stuff, water shockwave, and basically just summoning that mess of show water. Just boom. And then you know the, both of them are both Sonata and uh, Saratobi doing the best to keep them at bay. You know, Monkey King and Ma. Boom. You know, uh, they're going back and forth. Eventually, you know, Deep Force emergence, and now they're on the back burner. No matter how strong they are. Uh, they, they're, even though uh, the first and the second aren't as strong in when they were first summoned as they are later in the series when they're summoned again, that was actually explained, I think, by the second. Uh, there's still too much for Saratobi, who's well past his prime. And Tsunade, who, well, she's she's not over the hills. 50s is maybe old for a shinobi, but relatively speaking, it's not that old. Um they can't, they just can't uh, handle the, the, uh, these guys. I will imagine though that Tsunade at one point, because Orochimaru is so distracted and he has the grass longsword, does get a good solid crack. And so he's probably bragging, going after Saratoga, but then he, he's not paying attention. Tsunade maybe summons a shadow clone, just boom, right in the face, just breaks his jaw completely. He even goes crashing into the freaking uh, the barrier. Which basically causes the kids to get, yeah! and he immediately has to go blab blab, throws himself out there, catches his sword against uh, you, and he's not, he actually at this point he's legitimately angry. Just you wretched Tsunade! just comes at him again, and now they're they're on the back burner. Cut to no Sasuke and Hinata. I'm treating this actually like an episode where it would go back and forth on the battlefield, like from which fight. Tsunade and, Sa uh, and Hinata eventually do find Gar. He's struggling. He's like, Sasuke Uchiha, you will prove my existence to the world. <laughs> That's right. You will make me feel what it truly means to be alive. And, the, you know, Hinata and Sa uh, Sasuke are just, whoa, okay. Hinata, you got to stay back. I've got this guy. No, we're teammates, and you're going to need all the help you can get. And I'm not taking you down for an answer, Sasuke. And Sasuke just, because Hinata's not just a teammate. It's his friend. Granted, he's not, he, has any, he doesn't have any feelings, but it's his friend. Like, All right, he's like, you ready to do this? Let's do it. Like, ah, he's, made, he's made a sand, right? Right. So, you know, so let's try to weaken that. And then, you know, they they try to get in close combat, but close combat's near suicide. At one point, Hinata almost gets attacked. I'll say, gets his hand caught. It's like, sand barrel. And then she goes, ooh, a lightning style, lightning palm. Poof. Uh, gentle, or gentle fist style, or gentle, what would it be, Hugo style, gentle fist, lightning bomb, boom, and it actually weakens the sand, because sand is, the Jinton or magnet release is lightning based, but with sand, it would probably also be probably earth based, including when you do like the iron dust and the gold dust. So, there's, because sand's involved and there's electricity probably involved, he's able to temporarily short it, weaken it, and he's, he's able to pull his hand up for any lasting damage, and then, uh, it's like that was close. It's like right, and it's like he's made a sand, right? So let's see if we can make some. Let's see if we can make uh, do some glass sculpting. His hands, you know, actually smiles. Like, you ready? You know that, right? Wish we had Naruto for this one. It's gonna have to make two. Draw fire style, dragon fire jutsu, lightning style, ten pale palms. Or no, I'm trying to think of what ten pale lightnings would be. Um, uh, ten pale. Let's see, lightning pile style. Uh, Oh, Pale Lightning Storm. That's a pretty easy one. Pale Lightning Storm! And then they combine collaboration style. Uh, lightning Palm Dragon! Or, or uh, Lightning Fang. Yeah, Lightning Fang Fire Dragon. That's a good one. Lightning Fang Fire Dragon! Uh, and then, you know, they hit Gar. <laughs> it, it turns a bar portion of him into, like, the tips of his hand. Like, his hand. His overall hand is actually fine. It's, just, it's inside there. But his hand's glass. Yeah, but he's uh, overall pissed. 
and then just goes into that full mini Chicago mode, just a Sasuke, because like, got you, boom, just slams right in there, right in the same spot, too, and he's smart enough to aim there, but like, ah, yes, that's right, that's right, Sasuke Uchiha, show me what it means to be alive, and he's, he starts to just grab his head, he nods like, hey, Sasuke, and then she's able to, you know, barely just, boom, freeze like, you insolent wolf, I don't know, you don't interest me, boom. And she just boom, smacks her against the um, tree with Sans. God, she's able though to just like she did with Sasuke, loosen the sand particles and just boom, loosen it down. So, <laughs> uh, and now she's she's tired out. Sasuke's Sasuke is now just is like uh, he's barely out there. Now he's just running on empty. Sasuke in the original had the curse mark, which allowed him that third pop. This, he doesn't have this. He might have a little extra chakra because of extra training, but he doesn't have the third one. Or he doesn't have the extra joy. Might have a couple extra fireball jutsus or, you know, some pale lightnings. But at this point, low-level lightning is not going to do that. He now is watching this and just, and he's like, it's her friend. What's she going to do? Meanwhile, Naruto is, like, running out there. And again, he's, he's feeling the chakra and says, something's wrong. So he finally gets there. And what does he do? What does he see? Sasuke there, near defeat. And Hinata there with a busted arm. And patterns all over her body and a weird chakra coming off her. What's happening here? Let's come back to the other people and find out in a little while. So, Sonata and Saratobi are now just on, just, despite how strong Sonata is in uh, Saratobi, they are just reeking how Sonata maybe has some Katsuyu at one point, or like, I mean, not Katsuyu, but a different slug has mini slugs on him, healing Saratobi the best he can, using her Aussie like a little acid can, just poof, 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 doing the best he can. And then Sarato is like, Tsunade, is like, I want you to know, you, I, I am proud, and I am proud to know you found, you were able to find happiness after dad, and after dad and your brother, I was scared for you, but you found happiness, you found a life, you found a family. It's like, Tsunade, so, so, I, uh, when I, uh, after I'm gone, I want, I just want you to know that I, I was more, you're, uh, uh, what would be the best way to, after I'm gone, I want you to know that it was an honor to be your sensei and your friend. Uh, to the I trust the village to you and the future generations. Sarato sensor, are you? And then she said, Sarato, you're not going to. Say. It is the only way, Sudate. And then and he looks at her and just, she goes, hmm. and it's a uh, Reaper of Death Seals steals the souls of the Okages. Oh, is this all you've got to us, uh, old man Saratobi? And then, you know. Uh, again, he's able to grab onto his mouth. Like, I got you. It's like, oh, you think you can pull my? Ah, you think you can pull my sword out, old man? This is your. You. This is nothing. It's like your old oh, decrepit. You fall, and then he brings our grass long sword to pierce our Toby. Only problem is, jink. He got still got to deal with tsunami. It's like what? what? And then, so, uh, Katsu, and then whatever the actual, the, this isn't Katsu, because he's too big to be in the dome. Whatever this slug's name is, he feed, it get, uh, funnel of my chakra through, uh, just, uh, into the Okage, uh, into Sar, uh, Saratobi Sensei. Give him the fuel we need to take this serpent down for good. What? No! Because <laughs> even without the sword wound, I don't know if Saratobi would have had the enough strength and chakra and endurance to take out Orochimaru's complete soul. But with Tsunai's help, yeah, he can, and he's he avoided the uh, the blade. So uh, uh, no, you this will not be the end. Uh, I am I, I, I was I will some I will discover all this because I will gain immortality. I cannot be the nah! and then poof, they actually do it and take Sarochimaru's soul. <laughs> it's just oh, and then Kabuto was probably watching say, no, Lord Orochimaru, and then the sound force like Lord Orochimaru, and then he just drops like a withered husk, just <clears throat> grab, his, grab his body, it's like, you know, they, they have to get his ass out of there, right now, basically, this this is done, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, how did Saratobi's dying words put it, exactly, um, you know, he just looks at his student briefly, smiles, and, and even though he said it in a monologue, like, let's see, um, third Okage, hold on, I want, I want to know, I want that quote, because that was a, it was a beautiful parting quote from him, Keep capitalizing third. Third of Hokage. Okay. Uh, is he, you know, so what was that? I've got to get his quotes. Uh, let's see here now. 
quotes would probably be at the very bottom of the page or close to it. Uh, okay, no quotes. Trivia. Oh, here we go. Uh, to a is isn't just an organization. No, okay. When the tree leaves dance, and one small sh one shall find flames, and the fire shadows will illuminate the village. And once again, tree leaves shall bud anew. And then he just falls down with a smile, and you know, and much like a fitting end to one who calls himself a shinobi. And then that being said, Cobb and Tsunade's tired as hell too, so Kabuto and the Four do are able to hightail it out of there. Meanwhile, back at the other plot, what was going on before Naruto showed up? Well, Sasuke, you know, was doing his best pale lighting fireball jutsu, and he's tiring quick. He not a, is able to get out of there, but she's ah, ah, ah. It's like Sasuke, and she's barely got any any chakra left. She's just she's almost done. She feels that minor ache from the curse mark. Just, boom, boom. And she remembers what they said, the Charisma can, can grant you great power, that's infused Orochimaru's essence. Normally it's designed to corrupt, but your, but your pure heart it seems to be, it seems to be, I mean, however, its influence is not, will uh, still remain if you, or, or its influence will exist if you allow it. So, but, is it, could it be possible to control it? And they even talk, there's even, um, she remembers, but, uh, possible, it's possible that because you're not, uh, you have no real corruption in your heart, you know, uh, uh, your chakra might be able to, you might be able to use it on some extent. And she, uh, but remember, it could control you just as much as you can, you can control it. The question will be, can you control it and not let it control you? Just think it, and she starts just thinking to yourself, I control, I control it. It doesn't control me. I will it. It doesn't will me. I am in control. It doesn't control me. And all of a sudden, <laughs> flames just appear on her body. Except they're not, it, I would imagine they wouldn't be in the same style as the normal curse mark. They, I mean, it's still flames, it still exists, but it's more like she's only funneling it to one arm. It appears on her body, but then she channels it to one arm, and then she's channeling the little bit of the physical strength training she had, because it took Sakura years to do it. You know, I think has better chakra control. Uh, and just, you know, basically, I'm imagining it like this, and, you know, Gara's about to, you know, just take out Sasuke, and then all of a sudden, one punch! Except it's not one punch, it's more boom! And then he goes flying, like, blah, 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 just hitting trees, going crack, 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 and even in that mini Chicago form, he felt that, like, that didn't, that hurt, that's like, ah, that, uh, that gnat, or, wow, wow, I'm going to return, that gnat, she did this to me, unfortunately, like I say, it's not much, so much one punch as it's My Hero Academia, her arm now just busted up, just, now, don't get me wrong, because of the strength training, it's not completely broke, like, it's not shattered, it will heal, but add the curse mark chakra in there, or, you know, the slightly purified version, because it's Hinata, um, it's, it's at least, it's, it's broken at least in one place, and it's, she, her arm goes limp, just, <sighs> and it's like, Sasuke, it's like, you, and he just comes and say, you, I will kill you. Oh, I think, uh, sorry, my girlfriend's home, so I heard Domino barking. I will kill you both, admit, kill you both to prove my existence. I will not, uh, not be stuffed out. No, just, he's about, now die. Oh, and say, photon, what tornado fast. <laughs> he gets pushed back, and then Naruto's there. And just as he's, Naruto's there, and his eyes are glowing red. It's like, you, it's like I'm not, you're not, you're not hurting anyone today, Gara. That's for certain. And, you know, he's got, actually got a bit of the, a little bit of an aura around him. Just, ah, so here. Sasuke, he's not a, sorry I'm late. And then, you know, he creates some shackles. But heal them up as best you can. Then we'll get him to mom later on. And, uh, and uh, yes, Naruto is walking. You were the only other one who I felt worthy to spill their blood. If I cannot spill theirs, I will spill yours. That's right. You will prove my existence. He's like, bring it. Bring it on, you crazy Anoki! And then, ja! And that's where we're gonna leave it. Oh yeah, we're gonna leave it like the page of a manga, to, like a leg legitimate manga page, just pausing at your, rushing at your. Oh yeah, that's where we're leaving it at. So we're, that's where we're gonna end it off today with Naruto and Gara going at it toe to toe. Orochimaru is more. Uh, now, would there be a way to bring him back? In theory, um. 
But we'll get to that when we get to that. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, share, subscribe. As always, if you want to review something, put in the comments below. Let us know. We'll do a review of it at some point. And ideas for who win, Star Wars, Super Magic, what if. Anything you're new on the channel, put that in the comments below as well. I'll get to that at some point. So tomorrow I just got a who would win. Plus, my girlfriend wants to watch Black Sheep with me because that was requested by... That, the, the movie this week is a request movie. It's a request review. So <clears throat> uh, she may actually end up joining me. She may consider joining me for that one. So you'll get my, the first view of my girlfriend. This lovely invisible spot here is my girlfriend, but it will soon be filled with my actual girlfriend. <laughs> uh, Hello, it was a great movie. I love you. Yes, this is my girlfriend. <laughs> she always puts out. No, I, I, the, no she, she's just very, um, she's very, if, not even about being on camera, surprisingly, it's about uh, kind of just people watching her and possible judgments. And you know what? That's fine. Absolutely. I can understand that. Uh, but besides that, I got a who would win tomorrow. Uh, nothing else besides it, beyond that. We are hitting close to that 3,500 marker. So that means when we hit the 3,500, we will do another Q&A. Right now, see, we're doing it every 500. And I think that's a good uh, uh, good escalation, a good way of doing it. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.